Hello guys, welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. In this video, we are gonna look at SpaceX's latest launch of the Utilsat Hotbird 13G mission, updates from Starbase, and a few other space news. So, let's get into the video. Earlier today, a little over an hour after midnight, SpaceX launched its 51st mission of the year. Three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Utilsat Hotbird 13. This was only the second mission of a total of possible 11 launches this month for SpaceX. A Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Utilsat Hotbird 13G satellite lifted off from the Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 1.22 a.m. Eastern Time. The first stage booster supporting this mission, Booster B1067, launched and landed for the seventh time. Landing leg deploy. Nominal orbit. Stage one landing confirmed. Payload separation confirmed. After 36 minutes into the flight, Hotbird 13G satellite was successfully deployed into a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Last month, SpaceX also launched its twin sister satellite, Hotbird 13F, from the same launch pad. For the second time in a row, SpaceX conducted a cryogenic test on Starship S-25 yesterday. Crews continue to prepare the orbital launch mount for the upcoming wet dress rehearsal and static fire of Booster 7. More Raptor engines arrived at the SpaceX production site at Starbase, Boca Chica. A few days ago, NASA revealed that SpaceX is now capable of making one Raptor engine per day. We are going to need thousands of Raptors if humans were to become a multi-planet species. Rocket Lab will launch its ninth mission of this year, tomorrow. The Catch Me If You Can mission is scheduled to launch from Launch Complex 1, Pad B at Mahia Island in New Zealand. For a second time, Rocket Lab will attempt to recover the first stage booster. Unlike SpaceX's autonomous landing Falcon 9 rockets, Rocket Lab will use a helicopter to catch the booster in mid-air. The first attempt to catch and recover the booster back in May didn't end up with success. So, tomorrow will be a good day for Rocket Watchers. On Tuesday, United Launch Alliance's CEO, Tori confirmed that the second BE-4 engine for Vulcan rocket arrived at its manufacturing and assembly facility in Decatur, Alabama. Now both the engines manufactured by Blue Origin are being integrated into the rocket. The United Launch Alliance is targeting early next year for the launch of the maiden flight of its new Vulcan Centaur rocket with customer payloads from Amazon and Astrobotic Technology. NASA is planning to roll the SLS rocket an Orion spacecraft to launch Pad 39B at Kennedy Space Center tomorrow Friday at 12.01 a.m., ahead of its third launch attempt on November 14. NASA will hold a press teleconference later this afternoon, briefing the media about the status of the Artemis 1 mission. Will the third time be the charm for NASA and the SLS rocket? Not that long to find out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video with more space updates.